is an explanation that can explain more than any other explanation. Explain more phenomena, is more widely ranging, has, has a greater range of, of applicability. Such an explanation is the loveliest. And, and of course, the, the, um, the goal of... You know, not, not necessarily the goal, but, but wouldn't any physicist, wouldn't any cosmologist today just love to come up with the grand unifying theory of everything. The grand unifying theory that, that unifies gravity with electromagnetism, with space, you know, etc. Et that, that, that unifies the Newtonian world with the, uh, the, the, the relativist world with the quantum world. That would be truly lovely. Lovely. Because, because, because of the scope because of what it's able to explain. Um, e equals mc squared is a lovely explanation. Using that simple formula, E equals mc squared, so much is explained. So much can be a a accounted for. So it's not just the best, it's also the, the loveliest. A more pragmatic one is the likeliest explanation, and that's really just gets down to practical matters and says, OK, inference to the likeliest means the one that most closely mirrors what the data is telling us. Doesn't go any further than what the data is telling us. That's, 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 all, um, that's all they're concerned with. Now, these claims here that I've been putting forward as uh, certain kinds of knowledge claims, as you see, it, science here is referring to a knowledge claim which is universal, which is natural and lawful, etc., etc., and it is not referring to knowledge derived from personal experience, anecdotal evidence, tradition, faith, emotion, popular appeal, subjective opinion, all of that kind of thing. Those propositions are not the propositions of the scientific realist. The scientific realist is, is putting a much more limited <coughs> ring around, uh, around what is known and can be known in the Western modern sci scientific um, tradition. And that knowledge is universal. Atoms are atoms. Right. Stars are stars, no matter what, where you are, or when you are. That the nature, the universe, the world, you know, is exists. It's out there. It doesn't appear in different ways to different people. This is what the scientific realist claims. There, it's singular. There, there is one charge electronic charge for any electron. Not, not more than that. Yeah. Anterior. It existed before we did. It precedes us. This universe that we know is anterior. Knowledge, the knowledge that we have is testable and is tested in, in, in this tradition. Reproducible You've, you've all you know, learnt that the, because if it's not reproducible it's not lawful and the universe is lawful according to scientific realism the universe the, the way we know the universe is to know the laws of the universe the knowledge that it's produced is explanatory it doesn't just describe observations that's not enough. A proposition, a scientific proposition, needs to explain the observation, not simply describe the observation. And it needs to be predictive. So, in summary, what Western modern science, through scientific realism, claims to have achieved, this is the claim, it claims to have achieved a certain kind of knowledge 
and the knowledge it claims to have achieved is goes to the lawfulness of the universe. Um, a universe that is ordered, that is structured, and where we can know what that order is and what that, what that structure is. Uh, and hence it's reproducible and so forth and so on. Again, poetry, we can know the world through poetry. A scientific realist does not deny that. A scientific realist is not saying poetry doesn't tell us anything. Of course poetry tells us things, but poetry doesn't tell us things that are universal, singular, testable and tested, reproducible, explanatory and predictive. Similar with art and music and so on and, and, and so on. So those are the claims of the scientific realists. And next lecture tomorrow, uh, I'll be dealing with problems with scientific realism and alternatives to scientific realism. Now, I'm gonna, I'll shut up, but before I do, hands up. Who's convinced? Who have I convinced to be a scientific realist? 